In this video, I want to talk to you about the new planner and the differences between the new and the old. Now, um, the new planner will connect with the old planner. So if somebody is having a contractual change, you change it on the old planner and a new planner will pick this up. So I have got two planners up. One is from the current year and this one is next year's planner. Both is on the master tab. So I'm going to choose this person called Demo2 and I will put in, for example, this person is having a new rotor. And if you look here, you will come through now because it is on the master tab of the new rotor i'm just going to make this bigger if you go to the main tab let me choose main and you see um demo 2 and if i scroll down you will see it is actually filtered for next year which means that you don't have to do the admin twice I have made improvement on the master and main tab. So this is the master tab. Right in the corner, you can see there is drop down for the date. So this tool is really for you to plot um, the partner's rotor on, onto here because um, partner link week one is not the same as week one on this planner. So once you know the starting date of a partner, just choose the date and it will tell you where to begin your plotting. Now if your rotor contains different rotation, for example, this rotor has got four weeks and eight weeks, I will I will design it so that you will have a drop down. You can choose uh, the week that you actually want to look at. The main tab I have kept all the calculation identical to last year. Now the only difference is I have inputted an extra column for the week's reference. So for example, this demonstration I've got two rotation, four and eight. So I'll put the main one on here and then the next one along here because most departments will have just one rotation and I want to keep the format identical. So this column is controlled remotely and is reading from another location. And this one is local events. So whatever is happening in your department, you can actually pull it in. And you will see that I will start to put in markers like SM start, non-shop floor start, shop floor start. These are really markers for spin off files to track how many people are working between these columns so do not delete these words holiday and lou i've made some improvement on that as well really is based on my observation with different departments and it's a combination of all that i've learned now you have got the holiday enter tab so anything that is double lined you can input um, the data so select the partner's name here input to the holiday now if they have taken half a day you can actually use a drop down and do half a day and that will become minus um, half a day so holiday you enter as hol for the full day and that will be deducted from the holiday enter tab but however half a day you can put it in like this half a day that's fine or you can put it in with a rotor time and half a day that is also fine so it's up to you and if you scroll along you see uh, the counter for holidays holiday 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 for the shop floor so just remember, if they are to have half a day, it's not counted on here. You see, just one day book, so you need to choose that. 
Holiday Enter tab. Now we will talk about the loo. Now you can input the loo entitlement in the boxes that is double lined. And once you have actually select the person's name and input this data, it will actually tell you how much time they have remaining to book. Now here you have got suggested loo on the branch closer, closure date. There are four of these in a year. So Easter, Christmas, Boxing Day and New Year. This data is collected from the master tab and is count, calculated depending on what type of rotation you're on, like four weeks, eight weeks, six weeks. So it's done automatically. But however, when it comes to the break times, you, you can actually just readjust here. So Easter Sunday, maybe this will be like one hour. So you can actually readjust. Otherwise, it will give you a suggestion of what the breaks might be. So right at the top, I have got a loo calculator. So if you have a hard time of knowing what a person um, wrote a time should be, so if you just choose it and work out mentally what type of break this person should have during this time, because it could be flexible, you see, it will tell you that this type of break you will have nine hours. Now the reason why I have done this calculator is so that you can put in this word nine into the planner. So I'm going to use the person demo one to show you. Right, I'm just going to randomly put nine here. Just pretend that this is that shift. So why don't you put the um, loo hours here to replace the rotor time. If you go back to the holiday enter, you will see nine. So the more you put it's in you the more it will just deduct and calculate so from my observation i know that a lot of departments don't bother with this holiday enter tab so i've created another tab called the lewd guide now this lewd guide will pick all the names that is on the main tab and it will just generically work out the four different uh, closure dates now I've done this so that when you go to the handout, I will just go to the 2018 handout. If, um, if I actually just scroll right to the end, um, there is an extra row here, which tell uh, demo one, this person, how much um, it is used up in, in the holiday, uh, in, in the closure dates. So which means the um, calculation that is done on this row is taken from a generic tab, which will always generate data here, because if I link it to the holiday enter tab, people uh, come and people go. Um, it's, I, what I've seen is not that well maintained for most department. Clearance and Christmas hours I will talk about um, all the supporting tabs that help you to plan for clearance and Christmas. Now I have got two tabs here, clearance and Christmas. They both are the same thing really. Um, now clearance and Christmas for next year, we don't have the date yet. So once I actually got uh, the date, I will remotely change all of these dates so it actually matches what, what you do in real life because at the moment it's just a guess. I've got a tab called the late night tab. So the purpose of this is to count how many closing a partner do. So um, you can actually choose the start date and the end date that you want to work with. Once you select these dates, it will go through the different people's um, planner on the main on the main tab, and it will 
tell you how many eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and ten o'clock that these people are doing. And here it will tell you how many Thursday is within this period, because Thursday we have got nine p.m. finish. So I'm going to talk to you about the rotor matching tab. Previously, I've called it um, the meeting tab, but I notice it's not really being used. So I have simplified those steps into three steps instead of five steps. Step number one is to choose the date that you want to do work with. And you will start to pick who you want to match the rotors with. So you choose as many names as you want here. Just choose one more. And what we will do, it will deposit the um, time here and then you see what is the best day that you wanted to focus on and maybe 30th of uh, January. So here you can select 30th of January because that is the date that you're interested in. Well, I just typed it in, but it's fine. And, and you can actually just look at this time and decide um, what time is the best time to meet. So lastly, I will talk about the four weeks tab. So from my observation, um, people are not very good at changing people's names on here. So what I've done is I have um, linked this column with um, main tab. So whoever you have deleted, this will delete. So it's automatically updated for you. And I will also include the different uh, closing hours and all the different data so that if you are um, booking holidays for the near future for a partner, you can actually look at the four weeks tab and decide. As a bonus, what I will do is I will use the template of the four weeks tab and create another tab called the any four weeks tab, which means that Eventually, I will actually give you an option of changing the weeks that you want to look at. So you can actually uh, look at any day in the entire year and then it will display four weeks of that onto here. Now for the bridges, I know a lot of different departments will have different ways of doing bridges. So um, I'm happy to meet with the people who actually do the bridges and I can actually assist them in uh, designing an appropriate bridge for them. Now, um, if you're happy with the bridge that you're currently using, so all I need to do is duplicate that and relink it into the new um, planner. So it's something that is can be quite easily achieved. So I'm not too worried about the bridge yeah now um i know some department might find that their bridge is a bit too big with too many people too many data and it's just too slow now this is where you have to meet with me and tell me exactly how you want your uh, planner to be and so i can actually do it in the um a way that will be benefit to your department Yes, yeah, so if anybody wants to have a new planner and have any special ideas, uh, please email me.